Good day, engineers. Para sa video natin ngayon, ang i-discuss natin will be the design of doubly reinforced beam. So, nagkakaroon lang naman tayo ng doubly reinforced beam kasi limited yung cross-section natin. Pero kung bibigyan tayo ng freedom to choose a cross-section, syempre, we will choose a single layer, singly reinforced beam. So, Nangangyayari lang naman tong doubly kapag limited nga yung cross-section natin. So, usually nangyayari siya kung meron tayong uh, merong limited space na kailangan natin bawasan yung cross-section ng beam. Pero, safe pa rin siya and na-design pa rin natin siya ng maayos. So, we'll start the discussion by Uh, having steps 1 to 4 muna of the design of the doubly reinforced beam. So, for the first step in the design of doubly reinforced beam, uh, we have to determine the actual beam ultimate moment using structural analysis. So, dito, kinukuha natin yung MU, which is the actual moment, or MU actual this is nanggagaling dun sa structural analysis natin from the softwares so galing yan ng STAAD ETABS and other structural softwares so MIDAS uh, dun natin kinukuha yung uh, moments or actual ultimate moment so in ultimate kasi uh, nilagyan na natin siya or Uh, pinasok na natin siya on a basis of a load combination which is the ultimate load combination so next the second step is to determine the required steel ratio so I have given you three methods para ma-determine yung required steel ratio so una dun pwede mong gamitin is yung FY squared over F prime C times 10 over 17 rho required squared minus FY rho required plus MU over phi BD squared is equal to 0. So, pwede natin itong gamitin. Uh, pwede mong gamitin yung function ng calculator mo which computes a quadratic equation like this one or you can use the quadratic formula na ang gamit is makukuha mo yung raw record that is negative b so ang gagamitin mo dito yung minus minus square root ng b squared minus 4ac over the 2a so yan ngayon yung gagamitin mo to get the value of the raw record for uh, this equation the next equation is much direct So, galing lang din naman yan dito. So, the next equation, which is the second equation, that is raw required is equal to a value 0.85 F prime C beta 1 over the Fy times 1 minus square root ng 1 minus 2 Rn over 0.85 ng F prime C. So, ito, kailangan nyo din kabisuduhin. Uh, Nadederive din naman siya, if ever na, in case lang na makalimutan nyo, yung equation. Then, the last one is by using the Cagnetes equation. So, the Cagnetes, uh, Cagnetes equation is this one. So, syempre, meron ka dong M, which will be equal to Fy over 0.85 ng F prime C. Then, meron kang X, which is equivalent to MU over phi B D squared Fy. Then, magagamit, din na, magagamit na natin itong mga equations na to to get the required steel ratio which is equivalent now to 1 minus 
square root ng 1 minus 2 mx over dm. So, yan ngayon yung tatlong equations nyo na pwede nyo gamitin to get the value of the required steel ratio. After getting the required steel ratio from these equations, sunod natin kukunin is yung maximum steel ratio which will be raw max. So, makukuha natin to may direct formula siya pero much better kung alam nyo kung paano siya i-derive. Kasi, mas okay na kabisado nyo siya at kabisado nyo din or alam nyo din kung paano siya na-derive. So, we'll derive that equation. So, syempre, kunin natin yung stress diagram or yung strain diagram rather. So, this one is the strain diagram. Then, syempre, since maximum yung pinag-uusapan natin, uh, we will get a strain of the Epsilon sub T or the net tensile strain as 0.005. So, as you can see, ang gamit natin is the DT or yung distance from the compression fiber to the extreme tension reinforcement and yung depth natin nung neutral axis is a depth C max kasi we are uh, discussing about the maximum steel ratio. So, to get the value nga nung maximum steel ratio, dadaan muna tayo dito sa strain. Yung strain ng 0.003 na nasa taas, pwede nating dalhin dito sa baba para ka makabuo ng isa pang triangle which is this one. So, itong triangle na yun to. Then, using this triangle and using the principle of similar, uh, similar triangles, we will get C max divided by 0.003 and that is equal to so yung buong triangle kanina which is ito may height yan na dt so that is dt over 0.003 plus 0.005 then arranging the term ang kailangan kasi natin si C max so that will be C max is equal to so that is 0.003 divided by 0.003 plus 0.005 times dt so simplifying this one we could get 3 eighths of dt so ngayon para mapalabas natin naman yung maximum steel ratio na equation kunin natin yung stress diagram so, the stress diagram is actually this one. So, we assume that this maximum steel ratio is just for a singly reinforced. So, kasi singly lang yung ginamit natin na stress diagram. So, ibig sabihin, we could have the static equation C is equal to T. Then, syempre, compression is itong part na to, which is 0.85 F prime C A max times B is equal to so yung T natin dito will correspond to AS max and that is FY so meron na tayong equation then alam natin that A max is a value equivalent to beta 1 C max. At yung AS max natin dyan is a value equivalent to rho max BD. So, substituting those values sa equation natin, we could have 0.85 of our F prime C times beta 1 C max times B is equal to si AS max will be rho max BD FY so substitute natin yung C max na nandito so that will be 0.85 F prime C beta 1 times 3 eighths of DT times B so is equal to 
Romax BDFY. So, alam natin na magka-cancel out dyan yung B. So, arranging the equation, we could have a Romax. So, yung D tsaka FY magi mapupunta sa ilalim. And, we arrange it na maayos. So, that is 3 eighths times 0.85 F prime C beta 1 over Fy times dt over d. So, ito ngayon yung equation natin for our maximum steel ratio. So, kung double layer siya, nandun yung dt. Pero, syempre, kung single layer, yung reinforcement natin, papasok siya na dt is equal to d. So, ibig sabihin, magka-cancel out tong term na to. So, pag two layer yung reinforcement, ganyan yung equation niya. So, that is uh, step number 3. For our step number 4, sabi dito, compare the maximum steel ratio with the required steel ratio. So, we need to compare the steel ratio required and the maximum steel ratio. So, kapag yung raw max natin is mas malaki or equal sa raw required natin. So, sabi dito, singly reinforce beam. So, ibig sabihin, we will proceed on a design of a singly reinforced beam rather than proceeding on a double reinforced beam. At kapag ang condition naman is yung raw max is mas maliit compared sa raw required or raw max is less than our raw required, this is a design for a doubly reinforced beam. And we will proceed to our step number 5. So, dito sa unang 4 steps, ang kailangan natin munang i-determine is kung yung beam ba natin is i-design as singly or the design as doubly so that will be all for this discussion on the steps this is only steps 1 to 4 again this is engineer rodolfo thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to butch tv